New here at 6 o'clock from our 8 News Now investigators. It's what many victims may want to do in court. And that's just knocking out the person accused of hurting them. And that's what happened during a sentencing here in Las Vegas. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy brings you this story. You're seeing here first. This is Richard Gross. He's accused of sexually abusing a boy who was a family friend he sometimes babysat for years. That boy is now a man who punched him in the face in this Las Vegas courtroom. This is the aftermath. Judge Tierra Jones on the bench as the alleged sex abuse victim is taken into custody and Gross is on the floor. You don't have to say anything else at this point until you get a lawyer to represent you. The 8 News Now investigators requested all of the courtroom video, which Clark County District Court refused to provide. Instead, we received this heavily redacted copy. No sound, no video from when the punch occurred. We did obtain this arrest report as the alleged victim faces a battery charge. Gross said he lost consciousness. He was taken to University Medical Center and the alleged victim, now battery suspect, admitted to striking him earlier. If the court seems fit to grant him a probationary sentence to follow all the conditions. Gross had pleaded guilty to one count of attempted lewdness with a child under the age of 14. It was an Alford plea, meaning he entered the plea because he believed there's a likelihood of being convicted, but he's not admitting he committed the crime. This is after he was charged with 26 counts related to sexual abuse. He received a suspended sentence of 5 to 15 years, meaning it's probation for five years unless he violates the rules. He's also ordered to register as a sex offender, but we could not locate him on the sex offender registry. Mr. Gross, what, if anything, would you like to say before I pronounce sentence against you? Um. <laughs> To do whatever the court tells me to do. Here in criminal court, Gross offered no apology. In civil court, the alleged victim is suing Gross and his wife. He alleges negligence, false imprisonment, assault and battery, and more. He claims the abuse began when he was just eight years old and continued until he was 15. In a phone call, he tells me he was upset about that plea deal and that Gross received no prison time. Reporting in downtown Las Vegas at the Regional Justice Center, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.